All right, guys. Well, it seems like we are getting more and more great stocks that are going on a discount and make for some very intriguing buys. And I am here for it for sure. I had been pulling cash for the first part of the year pretty much, but there are some juicy discounts happening out there right now that I'm going to start snapping up. So I will give you those stocks specifically today. And uh, some of them you guys may find a little bit of controversy in. You may or may not like the buys there. It doesn't matter. We'll talk about it down in the comments section. I just gonna give you guys the top stocks that I'm looking to buy right now today. Just make sure you like the video if you like getting the truth about the hype. All right, guys, just remember when we're talking about these stocks, these are the stocks that I'm looking to buy personally that kind of fit my plan, fit my portfolio, fit my goals, all those things like that. I actually have 18 different stocks on my watch list that I'm looking at, but these right here are the ones that are closest to the boat per se. They're either in the buy range or they're close to the buy range. And so I'm gonna be looking to pull the trigger and make some big buys in these stocks. I'm looking three to five years out at a minimum with all these buys. Remember, I'm not a trader. I don't do any of those sort of games like that. And these stocks, each one of them kind of targets a different goal or they're in a different portfolio there, but they all meet the needs that I have as an investor. So let's get down to the first one. So the first stock is SoFi. You guys know I've been buying it since the uh, Wall Street decided to get dumb and beat it down after earnings. I just did a video right up there about SoFi as to why it's trading down so far. So make sure you watch that one um, if you want information on that. But hey, this is the exact situation that you want as a long-term buy and hold investor is a stock that just can't get any traction and it goes down while the company performance is going up. And that is exactly, I know that's backwards, by the way, I apologize. I guess it'd be stock performance goes up, or the company performance goes up and then the stock price goes down. Hopefully that looked a little better. I don't know, let me know. <laughs> Anyways, the point being, we're getting the perfect scenario with SoFi stock. It continues to get beat down but yet the company every single quarter for like 10 quarters now has performed remarkably well, beaten estimates, beaten their own estimates, continuing to just push guidance out further. You couldn't ask for any more. So, hey, if this thing wants to get down in the $6 range, that would be awesome. Please do so I can continue to add to this stock. And I just made my first buys on Friday in the $250 Legacy Portfolio Challenge that you can get access to right now for the founder's price of just $15 to see all those buys in real time as I scale that portfolio from zero to six figures, eventually into seven figures. You could see it all in real time using no more than $250. And if you had problems signing up with the $15 tier, that has been fixed. And we've had a bunch of folks jump in since it was fixed on Friday. So I know it's working now. That's my fault. I apologize for that. And if you want access to everything, I'm talking free coaching, five courses, direct access to me anytime you want, all the different events that we do. You wanna see all my big buys and my main portfolios. That's right, it's plural. There's multiple portfolios in there. Make sure you check out the sale for a full membership too as well. Now with the $15 tier, that's very, very limited. I only have limited spots there. It's gonna be a founder's tier only. So if you're wanting access to that, jump on that. Again, if you're wanting a full membership, it's on sale as well. Just check out the pinned comment and see if the membership's right for you. So stock number two is Starbucks. This is a stock that I have been buying. And honestly, I'm probably gonna fill out my position here very soon because we've just been getting some sweet discounts on Starbucks. Uh, we'll see what earnings has for us here. That might very well give me the impetus to not only fill out my position, but then also add bonus shares as well to that stock because I believe in it long-term, especially on a three to five year horizon. Absolutely love Starbucks. Until I can go to a place, recession, non-recession, anywhere in the world and not see ridiculous lines and seeing people fork over ridiculous amounts of money for a cup of coffee. This right here is just, I, I again, don't necessarily agree with paying that for a cup of coffee, but I want access to the business that is so good that it has people lining up in droves and actually willing to wait in line to get a freaking coffee for nine bucks. So definitely something I wanna be a part of. Definitely one that I'm going to continue to add heavily as it continues to fall. So stock number three, is Google. I don't know what the deal is. I understand that Google is quote unquote behind in the AI race, but they're not this far behind to be trading so cheaply, especially on a forward looking basis compared to a lot of their peers who are running a little bit hot right now. So they are the undisputed leader in their space. I mean, nobody does search better than Google, right? And oh, number two uh, is YouTube, which Google also owns. And those two are like here. And then the next search engine is like way down here. Chat GPT, who freaking cares? Is anybody out there binging right now? It's not too many people. It's definitely not the masses. It definitely wasn't the Google killer that everybody thought it was going to be. Their lead is so big and so huge and so far and away better than everybody else. And they continue to improve it. I don't see that changing anytime soon. And the same exact thing goes with ads as well. The only company that does ads as well as Google does is Meta or Facebook or whatever you want to call it. And they're like one and two. Again, they're that top tier there. Everybody else is way behind on all that sort of stuff. And what do you guys think? You think people are going to lean more on TV advertising in the future or digital advertising in the future. You guys tell me where the future is and all that. There's a lot of money still going to legacy TV that as these older executives age out, as the population ages out and moves more and more towards streaming, you're going to see massive swings in marketing budgets heading to 
Google ads, heading to meta ads or Facebook ads, whatever the heck they call them, and a lot of other avenues like that. So you want to continue to give it to me cheap on a forward basis? I'm going to continue to buy shares of Google stock. All right, so on to the controversial part of this list. I understand, I, I completely agree that these stocks aren't for everyone. I understand that they are very, very divisive out there in the stock market world per se, and that's okay. We don't all have to have the same stocks. And I got to make sure you guys keep that in mind as we do any of these lists like this, or as you're watching other YouTubers or whatever the case is. It is not a, you have to win, I have to lose, or we all have to have the same stocks and I have a winner portfolio and you have a loser portfolio. It's not true. We can have two different portfolios. You can have 10 stocks. I can pick 10 completely different stocks and we can both be massive winners in the stock market. That's what I love about stock investing. So these are just strictly my opinion on these stocks. Obviously a lot of you guys have different opinions or maybe another favorite stock. So let me know that down in the comments. Comment down below with your favorite stock that you wanna buy right now that's on a discount. So next up is Tesla. All right, I did a full earnings preview for Tesla's earnings coming up. Just click this video right up here. It's the full breakdown of exactly what I think is gonna happen to earnings, what's gonna happen with the stock price and everything else like that. But for me, I am simply following my plan with Tesla that I followed from the start. It kept me from buying at 300, 350, $400. And instead, like I just did, I adjusted my price target down to 169, was able to buy there and I've adjusted it down again. And I'm gonna buy there as well. And if Wall Street wants to continue to get dumb because we know we got a rough couple of quarters coming up here before we're kind of on the other side of this, that's according to Elon, it's according to the management team, that's what they put out as guidance there. So if Wall Street stays short-sighted, that's exactly what's gonna happen. And I'm gonna get more opportunities to add to this stock, add to that share count, because remember, share count is what matters in the end. Not about timing the bottom. I know there's gonna be lots of people out there trying to time the bottom and show you how I went here, then I shorted there and I jumped here, whatever the case is. There's a lot of different uh, techniques and strategies to getting yourself there. I personally just prefer the simple one. I'm just gonna buy and hold. And when the stocks get beat down, or more importantly, they tell me, hey, ugly quarters are coming. Cool, I'm just gonna adjust my price target down to account for those ugly quarters and then buy accordingly as Wall Street gets silly and the narrative gets more negative and the press gets more negative and all that sort of stuff. And before you know it, we're on another ride back up once things turn around, but of course it typically starts to move ahead of that as we all know. So I'm not gonna wait to buy, not gonna wait to see what happens. I'm just gonna stick to my plan with Tesla and move on, which for me is the only way to buy Tesla because it's so freaking volatile. You guys know that, I know that. It's the most volatile large cap stock I've ever seen in my life maybe the largest one that I ever do see in my life by a mile. So you just don't normally get these sort of movements in Tesla. So for me, this is how I stay disciplined. I don't need to play games. I don't need to get cute with it. I'm just simply gonna add and continue to wait and see what happens. And onto the final stock here. And this is one that it's, it's kind of snakily actually doing pretty well this year so far. You wouldn't believe it unless you actually looked at the chart, but that stock would be PayPal. Yes, we are seeing significant progress up from that bottom all the way down to 50, all the way back up here, well over 60. But that does not mean that the stock is now overvalued or anything else like that. Remember back when Meta or Nvidia had their runs, they basically doubled up and they were still significantly undervalued even after doubling up. Now I'm not saying that PayPal is in that boat at all. I'm just trying to give an example of how you can have a nice run and still be significantly undervalued. And for me, that's exactly what PayPal is. Now I own a lot of PayPal, probably some would say too much PayPal at this stage because you've been able to add to it for so long. You know, a lot of these averages are just crazy low at this stage, but nonetheless, hey, if that's the best place to put some of my capital, that's absolutely where I'm gonna put that capital. And remember, if you wanna see all my buy and sell alerts and all of my portfolios, including my dividend portfolio, the $250 challenge portfolio, all of that, make sure you check out the pinned comment down there for my group where you can get access to just simply the $250 challenge if you want, or if you want access to five courses for free, you want access to the best six, seven, and eight figure discord out there, you want direct access to me anytime you wanna use our stock analyzer tool. We have free coaching that goes on in there at least weekly. There's so much in the group, guys. Make sure you check out the pinned comment and see if a membership's right for you before the founder spots fill up and or the sale ends on the other side for full memberships. And click this video here if you wanna see exactly what I'm buying in this market and click here to see my exact plan for this market. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.